Let's take a look at this problem. We've got 8 to the x plus 3 is equal to 1 over the cube root of 2. And um, we want to solve this uh, using the equality of exponents. Well, to begin with, we don't want radicals at all, so let me start there. The cube root of uh, 2, I can rewrite as 2 to the 1 third power. The reason why is whatever number is in this slot right here, that's called your index. That's always what goes down your denominator. And then by default, you put a 1 up here, and whatever's inside your radical is what comes straight down there. Well, yeah, we, don't, we definitely don't want that trapped in the um, denominator, so I'm going to take that and move it up on top. When you move anything opposite of where it's at in a fraction, the sign of the exponent changes. So it goes from a 2 to the positive 1 third to a 2 to the negative 1 third. Okay, well this is looking closer to what we're, what we're wanting. Um, we'll start with our larger number, which is 8. And we ask ourselves if we can rewrite that as 2 to a power. And we can. It's 2 to the third. Now notice when I put it up there in the exponent, I put it uh, parentheses around the current exponent. I'm multiplying them together. Equality of exponents says if you can rewrite both of them as the same number to a power, then you can cancel that number away. Well, we can cross out these twos now and set the exponents equal to each other. 3 times x plus 3 is equal to negative 1 third. Now, this is a linear equation. First step is to get rid of parentheses. So I'm going to take the 3 and multiply it times the x and times the 3, the distributive property. 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 3 is 9, equals negative 1 third. Second step, uh, get rid of, uh, this, this was our first step. Second step in solving linear equation is to um, get rid of fractions. Multiply everything by the LCM of all your denominators. Now if we only have one denominator, the 3, then we'll multiply everything by 3. That is our LCM. So 3 times 3x, 3 times 9, and 3 times negative 1 third. Well, 3 times 3 gives us 9x. 3 times 9 is 27. And over on the right side, the 3's will cancel here. And you get negative 1. Our third step in solving a linear equation is to get everything with an x on one side, numbers on the other. So I'm going to take the 27, move it to the right side. Anytime you take anything across your equals, your sign changes. So the 27 becomes a negative 27. Combine together numbers at any step. Negative 1, negative 27 is negative 28. And our fourth step in solving linear equations is to divide both sides by a number in front of your x, which is a 9. These uh, 9's will cancel. And we get x is equal to negative 28 over 9. And that's our answer.